Hi, in today's episode of Trust Your Munger, I speak to Izzy Ocampo, ACS CCP. Now what those letters mean is American Cheese Society Chartered Cheese Professional. That is a big deal. The exam is extensive and it covers a body of knowledge that the cheesemaker has to demonstrate competency in. I've seen some of the material and it is vast. When you go to the counter and you ask for a cheese that they don't carry, she's able to recommend an alternative for you from the same region or from the same animal or in the same style or from the same maker. I was lucky enough to spend the day with her and she showed me around New York City. Uh, here she speaks about how she got into cheese and her hopes for the future. No. So you're a CCP, yes? Yeah, I'm a ACS CCP, got it in 2022. A lot of work, a lot of mental energy, a lot of tears, but affirmations help. I've seen some of the reading material because it briefly crossed my mind like, to the, I'm learning that the business is very monger orientated. I'm not a monger, I'm never gonna be a monger, but if I understood some of the work that you have to put in to get that, and I looked at it and I'm like, hard no, no. No, yeah, that, that's where my mixed feelings come in because I understand like there are some points like with Hannah, she made a point about why do I need something that, needs, that I already know I'm good at, I don't need this validation. On the other side of it, I know that for some people, they want to see it as like another stepping stone or a challenge to themselves that yes, I know I can do this. And like, they want something tangible to prove that they can do this. And the other thing is like, for folks like me, I'm like, I am am a person of color, but I, my experience is not the same as someone who has like more darker features than me, like maybe a black person or like an Afro-Latina or just, just anyone just like darker skin than me. It's like to help give us that extra level of like attention, I guess you say, or like just you know, like notoriety. Just, it's just it is helpful so that when someone sees us or hears of us, they see them like ooh. So it helps wrangle in some people. So I realized over time that it's a case by case basis for someone and how important it is that is that person. Because it's like, do you want to go to college? Do you want? Do you not want to go to college? Do you want to go to a trade school? Do you not really, you know, like everyone's path is different. What's right for you may not be right for them. I wanted to do this because I just felt like I needed to, and that's the only thing I could just think of. And I'm glad that I did it because it's like, you, I did this. Mm. And there's cheese in every day. Yeah, and like, I'm a person that I realize I am a forever student, and I will always love to sit down and f- learn. And it's like, Anything that feels like it's a school setting or a classroom setting, that's why I was like down to just study and just read all that and take the t- that test, <laughs> that test. But yeah, it's like it was such a crazy pivot to just because I went to college for political science because I thought I'm gonna work in a nonprofit, I'm gonna do a political work with some politicians and blah blah blah. And I tried really hard. I did the right thing: go to college, try to try internships I couldn't get any because being a child of immigrants there are certain things I was just not afforded the opportunity to go because there was always a price no a price well not a price tag but like if I do this I have no money coming in like unpaid internships unpaid work so what I had to do was like do work study which is like the I get employment through the school but I get paid and I try to do like collegiate activities I try to be a a club, not a club. Pres- I was a vice president for a student club. And before that, I was part of the student council. So, because I was trying to get in that experience before I leave college, like before I graduate college, to be like, if I do this and this, so it could look good in my resume, then I could do that. That never happened. I was pretty disillusioned for like a few years, and then cheese kind of just was offered to me. Did it happen to you? Cheese happened to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I realized also in all my journaling and all of my self reflection that like ugh, I hate that I write something down and then I put it away because I have to look for it. But whatever comes through my mind, I have to like just write it out, which is how I'm able to write all those heartfelt things that people kind of see on my Instagram. Because it's not only for me, but I want to share it because I'm hoping that someone that needs to hear it or see it, it gets to them because you. Can it makes me smile every time it really does <laughs> thank you but like i wrote that like I, i've kind of realized that for some and this is me just speaking to the people that felt like they got chosen like cheese and that's the thing i'm like i feel like 
cheese chose us we didn't choose cheese because it kind of just it, we didn't search out we didn't seek it out it just was like hey have you thought about this no Meh. so it was like 2018 the beginning of 2018 probably like january or february because i was just a cashier i graduated in college it took me six and a half years to graduate from college because i was dealing with depression because i was feeling inadequate for other and I was going through a journey of like self-love and like overcoming that feeling of inadequacy. <sighs> it's, it's very, it's very rough. It took a long time, <sighs> and um, that's why I, I, I support everyone around me really hard because it comes from the heart. That it's not, it's not. I'm not doing it to get your attention. It's because I, I want to make sure that you get the support that you deserve shout you out or shout other people out and that's why I always appreciate when people like tell me like wow Izzy you're so supportive and I'm just like thank you I appreciate that and I'm not looking for validation it's just that I want like it's truly I'm just there for the community even if I'm not there next to you what can I do to help you out into the ether and so I was just a cashier I was just going from job to job to job I didn't get the internships, I didn't get the jobs that all my other peers were getting of like working in the UN building, working for um, not Habitat for Humanity, but just like nonprofit organizations that deal with things on the national and international level because that's what I wanted to do. Oh, my eyes are still No, it's fine. I think it's just a lotion. So, um, yeah. And then I was just doing my cashier stuff because I needed a job. I had to pay rent. You get it. Food is, just sucks. food is expensive um oh well, thank you so the general manager because i used to work at cinderella was like do you want to work in cheese like because it was an open position for a cheese counter associate um and going back to the whole like i love to just learn and just like with mary said because i I understood exactly what she meant. It's like there's like there's history behind everything, but there's something about cheese that was like infinite. Like you can never stop learning about it. So I asked him, give me a couple of days, I'll check out the cheese section in the store and I'll talk to the department manager. And I growing up here, I was just I was just bored as head cheese. The American slices, the craft, the Velveeta, like all that stuff. Um Genoa salami thing unfortunately um but from boar's head so i just did that and then i thought about it for a couple days it made me extremely nervous because i don't know anything about this but i kind of want to learn it so i finally did that it took a couple months to finally like get in there and then june which is my birth month it's always special to me um i started and that was pretty much it so and then like a year in, I kind of realized that I kind of like cheese, but I was in weird denial about it. And this is before I realized there's an actual world of curd nerds. So I felt like I was alone. So I didn't meet the right people yet. Um, so I found us now. Yes, it only took a few years. So that happened. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of like cheese. And that's, again, it goes back to the self-reflection because I was thinking deeply about something like 20, it was, 2020, it was like this November, December, I was working two jobs and in the process of leaving one, finally left Cinderella and I was a green grape part-time. So I was like seriously thinking about, I haven't thought about my career aspirations when I was a student in job J for a while. And I really thought that like, is it okay to myself to pivot what I thought I wanted to something that I never even thought of as a possibility. And then I went back to work because I think I thought about this on my break and I went back to work and I was at the register. At this point, I was like a barista because before I devoted my life to cheese, I was trying to devote my life to coffee. <laughs> I wanted to do what I did in cheese, like learn about the roasting of coffee, the, the beans, like the sourcing, like all But for some reason, it never just panned out. I took the hint universe, fine, <laughs> shut me into cheese because it was always for some reason much easier to get into contact with other professionals, 
other job postings way more than like getting hired at a coffee shop because for some reason every barrier was always presented it's like oh well we kind of like you like yeah and it seemed like i thought something was heading somewhere i'm gonna be radio science the biggest hint to me the biggest hint not even the biggest hint the biggest tell for me was like i had an interview schedule to work at blue bottle coffee because they have multiple locations here in manhattan and this is around the time when like the the virus like the COVID-19 virus was like kind of picking up steam you didn't know yeah. if it was going to shut down and the day I was supposed to have the interview was a shutdown happened so you were saved for cheese yeah I was it's like right then and there I, like it, but again it took a lot of thinking to that moment to be like <sighs> I'm not saying the pandemic was caused because I needed to be sheltered for cheese <laughs> I'm not saying that at all I just find it very funny that a barista in training position that I really wanted didn't come to pass. So yeah. And for a time I thought I didn't want to be in cheese, but I was just slowly getting burnt out in that work environment because they wanted me to do more things that weren't related to what I actually wanted to do. So that's why I left. And it comes with the territory of like having to explain my family. How come you're not a police officer? How come you're not a lawyer? How come you're not an actor? Because they want, because again, like, I come from a family of immigrants. They have the Same. Type of idea of, yeah, <laughs> the American dream. Have a nice home, have a great job, bring in a lot of money, build a family. I don't have kids. Leave me alone. Um, and it's like, they see this and it's like, they don't understand it, as I realize. They don't get it and they just want to know if it brings in money as much as what they wanted for me and I said no but if I play my cards right I could but it's going to take time to how I'm going to do that and I'm very willing to stay in this industry because it is something I genuinely enjoy even if it wasn't what I thought about 10 years ago and now I'm surrounded by a very loving community who I've made so many friends and made more friends yesterday and it's just that like it it's gonna take time but this it's just that's the only thing I could just say right now I'm still figuring out what it is that I want to do in the industry because I know I love to monger I know that I love to be surrounded by cheese eating cheese is already given <laughs> it's already given but I want to make like a real career out of this and like it is a career like right now even I'm just monitoring you, behind you a have I, a real th job th this is a career this is a real job it's yeah I'm very passionate about it and I going back to like what we were alluding to earlier is like I wanted to make sure that whatever it is that I try to do to create enough of a financial security net so that I can give something back to my mom and dad even though realistically to be honest, you don't really own anything to your parents, but everyone's lives are very different. Everyone's reasons for doing things are different. And after a lifetime of working, they deserve rest, even if they don't realize that they deserve to just not work, even for one day. I'm like, it's okay. I'm doing this for myself, and hopefully what I do, it goes back, funnels back into the community. Thank you very much, Daisy.